tie. And at the end of the evening, when we've done all the auctions, and you've done them, make a big song and dance, take off your tie, and auction it as an individual. I'll auction my tie. Now, even if he only gets 10, 15, 20 pounds, makes a then big song and dance and says, and I donate the value of that tie, or I donate the, the amount, to the charity. He then makes a gift-aidable donation, which effectively hasn't cost him anything, and he hasn't had to put his hand in his pocket. Now, a few years ago, if you remember, Elton John sold all his things at a big sale. And I phoned up the Elton John Foundation, and I say, why is he selling all these things? And it was in America, and uh, they had no idea what I was talking about. But to me, it was one of the most crazy things. Because provided they were Elton John's own goods, he should never have given them to the foundation to sell. He should have a, I'm clearing out my cupboard sale. Those things that belong to him are known as chattels. In other words, his own possessions. I'm not an expert on sort of capital gains tax, but as far as I'm aware, if you sell your own things, almost irrespective of the worth, you can, that's your money. So if you decide to up sticks and sell everything in your house and you're going to Australia, that's your money. So instead of him just giving them to the Elton John Foundation, he should have sold them in his own right, taken the money, assuming he's covered the capital gains issue, and then donated that money and a gift aid and a higher rate taxpayer to the Elton John Foundation. So you mean don't accept gifts in kind from Celebrity? Correct. But, but gifts in cash. Oh yes. Yeah. Sorry. I, you know, by gift I don't mean money. I mean yeah. yeah. So you should never accept it. Another one that I'm doing, um, and, and you, can, you can do this quite easily, it's, uh, it's, you've got to be careful you get it right, is um, football players, what they sometimes do is they um, get people to sponsor their shirts. And then um, at the end of the season, they either sell or give those shirts to the individual. Now, if they're sponsoring or they're not sponsoring, Perhaps what they should do, particularly if they've had a good season, and provided, of course, those shirts are legally their own, um, they're not part of their tools in trade or anything, but you have to look at this, and it's from what Revenue has said to me, it's their equipment, it's part of what they do. They could sell or auction those shirts at the end of the season. It becomes theirs, and they can donate <coughs> the money to charity under gift aid. And most of them will be higher rate taxpayers. So you've got the whole concept of getting additional money on things that are actually yours, but that you're selling. Now, what I would say to you is how it's been talking about community websites, social websites, eBay. eBay have a scenario with um, Mission Fish, which I must be honest, I, I, I reckon I know eBay reasonably well, but I can't work out Mission Fish. It's just a little bit complicated for me. But I would rather say to my supporters, look, sell things on eBay, have a car boot sale, but give us the money in your own right. 